Good morning, Peace Ortigas! Welcome to a brand new day! Thank you once again for joining us tonight in a wonderful reflective prayer. This is our meal time with God. This is your feeding of your heart with God's love. Pero the Lord said, just, just allow yourself to be used by God. And siya bahala sa lahat. Are you ready to be blessed right now? Jesus said, you are the light, you are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world. I feel that God really is watching over me. God is working in you. He never goes tired or weary. Ang Panginoon ay laging pinagtatanggol tayo. The Word of God comforts us. Lord, please use me today in any way. Allow yourself to be so thankful. One of the reasons that we're surviving right now is because of the grace and mercy of God. God is calling us day in, day out. The Lord can change. The Lord can help you. This world is a world, even though the world can be a dark place, the world is also a good place. God will set an opportunity for you to be a great follower. What we can do now is we spread hope, we spread the light. Fill your heart with so much gratitude and joy. May the Lord empower and set you up with by His Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good evening, brothers and sisters. This is Kristen. I am your guide for tonight's late night exam. This is the late night snack. So, brothers and sisters, in today's gospel, it is regarding the parable of the talents. And in doing our exam tonight, I'm welcoming everyone to be more mindful of God's message for us. And let's be reminded of our gifts and of the things that God has given us, and how can we share our gifts and our talents to others. So before we start this exam, please be reminded to turn off or put your um, mobile phones and your other gadgets into silent mode, and as much as possible, be in a place that is conducive for prayer. So brothers and sisters, let us, let's, um, let us start tonight's exam. Brothers and sisters, in starting tonight's exam, let us welcome the Holy Spirit by saying, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Come Holy Spirit, and fill us, and be here with us. Help us in knowing more about you, and knowing more about ourselves. Thank you for giving us this time, and thank you for spending time with us. Now let us enter into the exam and review this day. In leading you into this meditation, I'll be giving you time to contemplate, reflect, and commune in the loving presence of God. First, take a deep breath and relax. Ask God to be with you. If you like, you can imagine yourself sitting beside Jesus. Breathe in God's presence. Exhale all your worries and sadness. Breathe in God's faithfulness and exhale all your anxieties and doubts. Breathe in God's love, exhale all of your anger and frustrations. Now call to mind two to three things from today that you are very grateful for. These things need not to be big things. 
It can be anything that truly bless you today. Savor each of these things and one by one thank God for each one of them. Thank you God for waking me up today. Thank you for the breakfast already prepared for me. Thank you for this day of rest and for the time I can spend on myself with you and with my family. Now let us review your whole day from waking up to going to bed and try to notice where God has been. Where did you encounter God? When did you accept God's invitation for prayer? To be grateful, to be loving, to be yourself. And when did you turn away from Him? Think about specific people, places, and events. Let us start with today's breakfast. Did you eat breakfast with your family? Were you able to thank your mom or your spouse or whoever prepared your meal? How did you start your day? Was it rush or were you able to start it with a prayer and just being with God? Now, think of the rest of your morning. What did you do? Who did you encounter? Were you able to notice God again in the events that happened and through the people you have encountered? Take your time and just notice. Notice God's presence. Let us move to around lunchtime and what did you notice? Were you able to share meals with your family and had a fruitful conversation? Or did you just eat while staring and looking at your phone? Now we're in the afternoon. Who did you speak to? What did you do? Again, where and how did you encounter God? Were you able to take a nap and now you are very much refreshed? When you are ready, let's now move to dinner time and notice where was God. Again, were you able to have a meal with your family and had conversations with them? When was God present to you? And now, We're at the end of the day. Let us remember God's presence and allow ourselves to be filled with the love of God. Let us ask Him to hug us. Lord, payakapo. Again, take a deep breath and pause. And as you look back into your day, there might be things or events that you are truly sorry for, and now the and now you're regretting them. 
recall these things and express your sorrow to God. Ask God for forgiveness and ask for the grace to do better. In doing tonight's exam, there might be some messages God has told you or has made known to you, like helping a friend, serving a ministry, forgiving people who have hurt you, message a message asking for more kindness towards others. Again, bring these messages back to God and let God equip you and strengthen you in doing the things He asks of you. Remember that God does not call the qualified, but qualifies the called. And again, take a deep breath. And ask God to bless the next day with His presence, with His grace, with His mercy, and with His love. Amen. Brothers and sisters, in ending our exam for tonight, let us pray the litany of trust. From the belief that I have to earn your love, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear that I am unlovable, deliver me, Jesus. From the false security that I have what it takes, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear that trusting you will leave me more destitute, deliver me, Jesus. From all suspicion of your words and promises, deliver me, Jesus. From the rebellion against childlike dependency on you, deliver me, Jesus. From refusals and reluctances in accepting your will, deliver me, Jesus. From anxiety about the future, deliver me, Jesus. From resentment or excessive preoccupation with the past, deliver me, Jesus. From restless seeking in the present moment, deliver me, Jesus. From disbelief in your love and presence, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being asked to give more than what I have, deliver me, Jesus. From the belief that my life has no meaning or worth, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of what love demands, deliver me, Jesus. From discouragement, deliver me, Jesus. That you are continually holding me, sustaining me, loving me. Jesus, I trust in you. That your love goes deeper than my sins and failings and transforms me. Jesus, I trust in you. That not knowing what tomorrow brings is an invitation to lean on you. Jesus, I trust in you. That you are with me in my suffering. Jesus, I trust in you. That my suffering, united to your own, will bear fruit in this life and the next. Jesus, I trust in you. That you will not leave me orphan. That you are present in your church. Jesus, I trust in you. That your plan is better than anything else. Jesus, I trust in you. That you always hear me and in your goodness always respond to me. Jesus, I trust in you. That you give me the grace to accept forgiveness and to forgive others. Jesus, I trust in you. That you give me all the strength I need for what is asked. Jesus, I trust in you. That my life is a gift. Jesus, I trust in you. That you will teach me to trust you. Jesus, I trust in you. That you are my Lord and my God. Jesus, I trust in you. And that I am your beloved. Jesus. I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for joining tonight's Late Night Snack. And again, I'm wishing everyone to enjoy their Sundays. May you have a blessed Sunday with your family, and God bless everyone. Good night.
years na po akong nandito sa Jeremiah Foundation. Noong una akong napunta dito sa Jeremiah, isa po sa naramdaman ko yung hindi ko alam kung paano may kisama sa kanina dahil sa paguhan pa lang ako. Nung tumagal na po ako dito, naging ano naman po ako sa kanila. Comfortable yung kasama, ganon. Hindi naman din po mahirap. Sa loob po ng dalawang taon, siguro po yung mga nagbago sa akin is yung tutukan po yung pag-aaral ko. Unti-unti po sumunod sa mga nakakatanda sa akin at yung hindi na po sasagot. Yung gusto ko lang pong sabihin sa mga taong gusto pa pong tumulong sa Jeremiah. Pag lang po kayo mahiya dahil anytime naman po pwede naman po kayong tumawag to or gusto nyo pong mag-outreach sa amin. Thank you din po sa mga nagbibigay po sa amin ng love. Hindi lang po sa mga ibang tao kundi po yung sa mga gusto po pong pumunta sa amin. Thank you for the love po. Music